This article recently published by Wired Magazine, Google DeepMind CEO, Demis Hassabis, says its next algorithm will eclipse ChatGPT. In 2016, in what now seems to be the dark pre-transformer age of AI, an artificial intelligence program called AlphaGo from Google's DeepMind AI lab made history by defeating a champion player of the board game Go. Now Demis Hassabis, DeepMind's co-founder and CEO, says his engineers are using techniques from AlphaGo to make an AI system dubbed Gemini that will be more DeepMind's Gemini, which is still in development, is a large language model that works with text and is similar in nature to GPT-4, which powers ChatGPT. But Hasabi says his team will combine that technology with techniques used in AlphaGo, aiming to give the system new capabilities such as planning or the ability to solve problems. At a high level, you can think of Gemini as combining some of the strengths of AlphaGo type systems with the amazing language capabilities of the large models, Hasabi says. We also have some new innovations that are going to be pretty interesting. Gemini was first teased at Google's developer conference last month when the company announced a raft of new AI projects. We recently brought these two teams together into a single unit, Google DeepMind. Using the computational resources of Google, they have focused on building more capable systems safely and responsibly. This includes our next generation foundation model, Gemini, which is still in training. You see, AlphaGo was based on a technique DeepMind has pioneered called reinforcement learning, in which software learns to take on tough problems that require choosing what actions to take like in Go or video games by making repeated attempts and receiving feedback on its performance. It also used a method called tree search to explore and remember possible moves on the board. The next big leap for language models may involve them performing more tasks on the internet and on computers. Gemini is still in development, and this process will take a number of months, Hasabi says. It could cost tens or hundreds of millions of dollars. Sam Altman, OpenAI CEO, said in April that creating GPT-4 cost more than $100 million. Hasabis and his team might also try to enhance large language model technology with ideas from other areas of AI. DeepMind researchers work in areas ranging from robotics to neuroscience, and earlier this week, the company demonstrated an algorithm capable of learning to perform manipulation tasks with a wide range of different robot arms. RoboCat can deal with different initial conditions and goal images for the same task. Here, for the task to be considered successful, it is important that the correct gear is fitted on the correct peg. Learning from physical experience of the world, as humans and animals do, is widely expected to be important to making AI more capable. The fact that language models learn about the world indirectly through text is seen by some AI experts as a major limitation. When Gemini is complete, it could play a major role in Google's response to the competitive threat posed by ChatGPT and other generative AI technology. The search company pioneered many techniques that enabled the recent torrent of new AI ideas, but chose to develop and deploy products based on them cautiously. To juice up AI research, Google in April combined Hasabi's unit DeepMind with Google's primary AI lab, Brain, to create Google DeepMind. Hasabi says the new team will bring together two powerhouses that have been foundational to the recent AI progress. If you look at where we are in AI, I would argue that 80 or 90% of the innovations come from one or the other, Hasabi says. There are brilliant things that have been done by both organizations over the last decade. Hasabi's is tasked with accelerating Google's AI efforts while also managing unknown and potentially grave risks. The recent rapid advancements in language models have made many AI experts, including some building the algorithms, worried about whether the technology will be put to malevolent uses or become difficult to control. Some tech insiders have even called for a pause on the development of more powerful algorithms to avoid creating something dangerous. Hasabi says the extraordinary potential benefits of AI, such as for scientific discovery in areas like health or climate, make it imperative that humanity does not stop developing the technology. He also believes that mandating a pause is impractical, as it would be near impossible to enforce. If done correctly, it will be the most beneficial technology for humanity ever, he says of AI. We've got to boldly and bravely go after those things. One of the biggest challenges right now, Hasabi says, is to determine what the risks of more capable AI are likely to be. I think more research by the field needs to be done, very urgently, on things like evaluation tests, he says, to determine how capable and controllable new AI models are. 
To that end, he says, DeepMind may make its systems more accessible to outside scientists. I would love to see academia have early access to these frontier models, he says, a sentiment that if followed through could help address concerns that experts outside big companies are becoming shut out of the newest AI research. How worried should you be? Hasabi says that no one really knows for sure that AI will become a major danger, but he is certain that if progress continues at its current pace, there isn't much time to develop safeguards. I can see the kinds of things we're building into the Gemini series right, and we have no reason to believe that they won't work, he says.